Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Naresh Chetri. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the second part of our dictionary nesting. If you have watched the, the first part, you already know this is the second one. In this, we are using the least, whatever the least we have inside the dictionary. And we also called a list in a dictionary. So I have made the previous video that was the first one dictionary in a list i have made the first one list in a dictionary and this is the second one dictionary in a list okay sometime it is considered that it is very useful to put a list in a dictionary because one user or or one people have multiple choices or you may have to assign a list of items to a single user id or to a single key because we already know the dictionary is nothing it's a key value pair the example over here is here you can see we are trying to make a list of the favorite cars and for that favorite cars we have several keys yeah so this is the key one as a mac ng the values yeah so more than one car so this is key two and the and the respective values for the keys that means we can have key that has a list we can have another key that has a list and we can continue this so on uh, that can help our dictionary to grow for the value fetching part we need the two variables which we have used one variables to hold the key that variable we will use to hold the key and another variable we will use to hold the value so this time the variable we use to hold the value is the cars you can see and another variable which we use to hold the key is the name and if we use the dot items method which i have talked before that will returns all the list of the key value pairs and each value will be a list here so for that each value list uh, inside the main we use another for loop so it is uh, the nested for loop so if you don't have the idea of using the for loop please go back and watch my previous video how you can use a single for loop and the double for loop which we call the nested for loop so this second for loop is for the for holding those each values and those each values is the cars for the purpose of holding those cars we say for holding each values we are using that second one and again car is a variable and we use the nested for loop so that's why we say one is for dictionary and another is for is for list when we talk about the the nesting or the dictionary inside the list i hope this help you to understand the concept so now we will quickly go and see the program implementation of dictionary in this the program is here i am writing the program on the top of the previous program we have used dictionary inside the list if you remember that was the first part of the dictionary nesting so in the second part we have a list inside a dictionary and i have used exactly the the same list of what i have used in the ppt so that makes you easy so the key is mackenzie that has a list as a toyota and bmw the danian is another key i mean that is our second pair so as you know uh, we have a collection of key value pairs so danian has his favorite car as tesla and audi and for for the fetching part we use the same for loop and extract that the same thing with the two variables and using the dot items method which we have talked and then again we have used the the another for loop the nested for loop to fetch that the values because our values are more than one cars over here if you see for each user so i have a main that is the same thing i use that for for the first function call and over here for the second function call as a list in the dictionary and then you can see it will just print the favorite cars regarding that that same key for the mac ng and favorite cars regarding the Damien for all the list values i hope uh, this helps and thank you for watching